Hello and welcome to Baconhead. I'm currently in Baconhead Park. The famous Baconhead Park. Oh, that's very nice, very nice. And today I'm doing a 20 pound challenge. Let's see how far 20 pound gets you on a little mini pub crawl. My target today is I'm looking to get to six different pubs. It's the average pint of Guinness is three pound, three pound eighty eight. So therefore, I should, if it goes to the right places, I should be able to go to six different pubs. So that's the idea. So that's the twenty pound challenge here in Birkenhead to see if I can get to six different pubs therefore it'll be classed as a pub crawl if I can achieve that and obviously I can't go over the £20 okay so I've got my £20 note here my £20 note so this is hopefully going to achieve a pub crawl for me here in Birkenhead Oh, I'll get close to you, squirrels. I'll be confident squirrels. You know what? Do people feed them? I don't know. They're very confident. They're asking for food. So, yeah, I've got £20, three British pounds. See, basically, see how many drinks I can get. The plan is to visit six different pubs now I know there's just outside of this park there's the Queens that's where I'm going to start and the plan is to get Guinness six different Guinness 20 pounds is that possible and that's the challenge today so that's the challenge today the great British pound back in the day could get you a lot I used to sort people out for a whole night out, £20 back in the day, but nowadays £20, especially in this living crisis, it doesn't really get you very far. But today, I've decided to come out around Baconhead pubs, be a lot of local punters in these pubs I do visit today. And let's see, so my target is six, six pubs, five to six pubs, hopefully they can get six pubs. And that'd be classed as a pub crawl and I can't go over this £20 hopefully I can drink Guinness Guinness now I do think there's a £3 Guinness in the Waterloo and let's see if it is really £3 once I get to the Waterloo that's one of the pubs that we'll be going to today once I get to the first pub I'll let you see and we'll go from there the £20 challenge in Birkenhead £20 pub crawl Okay, so I'm about to exit the Birkenhead Park, first public park in England, or in the world, I think. We would have to double check that. So I'm just about to exit Birkenhead Park, and on my right there should be a pub called Queen's Pub. So that's where I want to go for my first beverage. Queen's Pub. Hopefully we get off to a flyer. Hopefully it's cheaper than £3.50 for the first Guinness. That would be a result, that would be a good start to this challenge. Right, so it's called the Queen's. This building right in front of me here. Right, so I'll go in, get a drink, see how we get on. So I've just come out to the first place of the Queen's. My first pint was £3.50. That's how much I spent, which is a good start considering the average £3.88. So, I couldn't really record much of that inside. Yeah, so it was a bit stunk in there, just smell of weed. The pint itself was quite nice at the Guinness. £3.50 knocked me back, so that's now left me with £16.50. 
with uh, five to four pubs to go. Hopefully it's five. So the next one is this pub actually appeared in Football Factories in the movie. I can't remember the name, but once I get there, I'll show you. And obviously, it'll be obviously the name of the pub. What was funny about the last place is it was cash and hand only. So already, you know, it's a bit of a dodgy place when it's cash and hand. It's like all the chippies around here, cash and hand. Yeah, you know, you know the work in the system, like the tax. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. So as soon as they said cash, which I was going to pay cash anyway, but as soon as they said cash, I thought, yeah, this place is a bit shifty. So. Again, and uh, as I said before, so it all, it, it, I just found a lot of weed, a lot of young people in there. What the pint itself? If we're going just off the pint, yeah, I would be. Uh, I would go back. Just I enjoy the Guinness. Sorry I couldn't show you much inside that last place. It was it was dodgy. It's like the dodgiest place to start. And I have heard about that place having a reputation in the past. So the next place is it's just up this up this road here. So £3.50 down. Target six pubs, which is a definition of a pub crawl in my eyes. But it actually says on light. Look at that. You don't have a bus for ages? And then, guess what? Free come at once. That's a perfect, perfect example. That's the UK in a nutshell. Wait for hours for one bus, and then free come at once. That just makes you laugh. That's funny. Okay, so we started quite rough. It's stunk of weed in there, the last place I was in, the Queen's, right next to Birkenhead Park. So, just behind the bushes, just in front of me. This is the way the next pub is. Again, I'm going to go for Guinness. And if it's below £3.50, I'll be happy. £3.50 all the way. Do the quick maths. 3 5 that's 15 50 p is 5 to 2 that's £17.50. And then the last one would have to cost. Oh, would have to cost two pound fifty the last skins for six pubs, because I do only have this twenty pound note on me. So that'll be quite tough. I think we can do it. So I'm gonna go in here. This may be the crown, this may be the one in the football factory movie. So we'll see how we get on. Okay, so we've just come out the crown, which Quite nice, an alright pub. Now the Guinness, very nice. The, the Crown it was definitely, definitely in a movie. Football, I think it was Football Factories. It was part, it was in the movie. The Crown, uh, it's close to the city centre, so it was quite. Well, it cost me four pounds, which is the average three eighty eight. So four pounds, I don't really want to be paying for a pint of Guinness. So it cost me four pounds, that leaves me with twelve pound fifty. And I need to get to four different four different locations. So that white building there. And that was four pounds for Guinness, so that's an extra fifty P. Just some walking up the street. Right, so the next location it's gonna to have to be spoons. And apparently this is one of the cheapest spoons in the northwest. So we'll go to the next place to go to is a Weather Spoons. So we're gonna try that next. So hopefully I'm hoping to spend it's gonna be a Guinness again. 
I'm hoping to spend like three pound, three pound fifty, ideally. Got twelve pound fifty left, so I've spent four pound and three pound fifty, twelve pound fifty left in this challenge, and I still want to go to another four pubs. So spoons is because it's it's hopefully with the reputation spoons has it, it puts me back on track. It's maybe four pounds was a bit too much, but at least it starts with three pound fifty. So I'm just by in Conway train station. Walking past Conway train station, walking towards walking towards Argyle Street. I want to walk to the next spoons and hopefully the spoons is a nice nice cheap gains between three pound and three pound fifty ideally and that will keep me on track for another three I'll be halfway there wouldn't I so if I can spend I've sort of nine pound fifty for the next two three pubs I'll be happy so I don't know people might say it's cheating getting the spoons involved but I have to try, I have to try the spoons. I have to, it's, at the end of the day, it's still a pub. I know it's a very famous, it's, it's, it's a big chain, but it's still a pub here in Birkenhead. And that was the challenge at the end of the day, a pub crawl. No, I'm not having a way, some random area. Right, it looks like I'm walking towards another pub before I get to the spoons. I'm gonna have to try this pub pot now. There's some lad just standing outside. I'm gonna have to. It's on the way to spoons. Hopefully it's it's three pound fifty or less for Pentagons. But that's just the way it works. It's it's a pub crawl. It's the next pub, so we will try this. And this place is called the Store Hotel. Store Hotel, we'll try this. There's some prices. Guinness, three pound fifty. So I will definitely go with the F one. So we sell all parts. I can't break it there. And the most said, "Oh, I've got a drive. You want to put on there?" So we've just come in, three pound fifty. So on the outside, I was actually charged three pound eighty five outside. So if I knew it was three pound eighty five, I would have skipped this place. I went straight to the spoons. And it is what it is, and I just have to deal with it. So, £3.85, £12.50, that leaves me with £8.50 to get three Guinness and three cups. You gave me the money, Kat, you're not supposed to be packed anymore. Oh, okay. No, I'll go now. So it's a bit, a bit quiet in here. Pool table. So yeah, it's, it's alright in here. The next place I will go to the spoons. Okay, so we've just come out to Stoke. So it's going to be quite difficult. I did go into the Stoke under false pretenses. On the outside it said £3.50 for a Guinness, but I was actually charged £3.85 for a Guinness. So therefore, yeah, 45p. 45p counting this challenge. So, in order to counteract that, I am going to go to two spoons to see how cheap a Guinness is, just to get me back on track. I need to go to three pubs to complete this challenge. I've been to three pubs. So I've been to the Queen's, I've been to the Crown, and I've also been to the Stoke. So, next one is going to be a Spoons. This is just on the right, just in front of me. Just walk down the street here, just on the right. Again, when I saw Guinness, hopefully it's below, it's £3, between £3 and £3.50, ideally. But we'll see. So you can just see on the left, so hopefully in the spoons, it will be less than £3.50 to get 
a pint of Guinness. It's going to be tough for me to achieve the challenge. It's going to be very tough, but we'll have a go. A brass balance, free house spoons. Five spoons. My fourth book paid 290. That's all big games. Two pound eighty this has been the cheapest in spoons. But it's just quite it. it's inevitable being the cheapest. Oh, so we've got two places to go. Now I never said it's gonna be again this only, so if I go to if I can get to two places now get two beers, cheaper beers, cheapest beer. It's on so the three percent then I've completed the challenge. So here's my fourth pins and my fourth pull. Albeit this is spoons two pound eighty. So that leaves me with four pounds I've got no notes left, so four pounds seventy. My uh, maths is correct to get two drinks and another two cups and bed. The last three places I've been to, even in that first pub, which is quite stingy, probably the roughest pub I've ever been in in my life. That was really was rough. I stunk the weed, but the Guinness was better than the Guinness from the spoons. We are where we are. I'm gonna go to the next place. I'm gonna hopefully, I'm gonna ask for a beer. Hopefully, it'll be a cheap, cheap, two pound ideally, which is a long shot. But I will ask them for the cheapest beer, two fifty ideally. And then the next one for me a bit, a bit, a little bit less. But it's not over yet. Four pound seventy, two places to go. So we will try. So I'll just finish. Off the skinners and I go to the next place. So I've just come out the spoons. Again, if you if you're looking for quality spoons of the drink itself, spoons. It's it's just not the place to go, is it? Let's face it, there's a reason, there's a reason the drinks are so cheap. It, they do all sorts to it. The main thing they do to it is they, they water it down. Let's face it, that's what they do. And it's, I feel bad for saying it, the spoons. It's, it's British culture, it goes to the spoons, but that's what they do. And it's, it's the same with all the drinks, all the, the spirits, the all these buckets, everything. Sorry, I got hiccups. I am looking for a place called the Wharf Loop. I have got hiccups. I think it's up this road. I've been to four different locations. And I've got four pounds seventy. Do excuse me for these hiccups. And we'll see where we where, where we end up, like the Waterloo. I am looking for it, but again, it, am I going in the right direction for it? Probably not. But the further I get away from the city centre, the cheaper it probably is. But yeah, I've got to the point where when I do go into a pub, I need to ask for the price. Whether that again is a calling, do you know what I mean? I need a cheap beer. I don't want to lose this. This is my first challenge on my own. This is the first time I've recorded on my own. In, in my hometown of Birkenhead. Which, we, it can't be that bad if, if we have a Premier in. So it's it's really not a bad place. It's honestly it's not. 
So, horn blows. Right, so, I was recommending this place. So when I go here, I will ask the seller on the front here for the cheapest pints. What's it? You might blow me off. You might. Oh, it's booming already. All right, mate. Right, what's like uh, the cheapest beer in here? Yeah, uh, probably. No cough. Yeah, I don't know if they got cold, but I've only got like four, I've got like four things on drive. Really? But watch, like, like, because I've come out, so I've come out, I've, I'm doing a little quest, so I'm doing a little video. So I've come out, oh, like, right. 20, is it? Yeah, you don't need to speak. So I've come out of 20 pounds. That's so right, that's right. I've been to four food. places, but I want to get, like, the cheapest oh. beers and bacon egg. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. What's the cheapest beer in here? Cheapest? Cheapest beer. Yeah, I know, I know, Gav. Where do I know you from? Oh, I you like a I've seen it. Cadbury's, yeah. Oh, it's, 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 Jamie. Jamie. He probably out there the last time you so, saw him. No, no, we oh, never. No, you know, you know me. Jamie. Jamie, what's your name? I've had a hair transplant since I probably had like. No, you No, I, I, rec I recognise you straight away. So basically, I'm just saying to, to you, mate, yeah, I've do I'm doing a video. I've got 20 pounds. I've spent 20 pounds to do a pub for all, and he's going to six to six like pubs yeah. and this is my fourth pub so it needs to be as cheap as possible what's the cheapest drink in here? I don't it's cola I think but how much is it then? £3.00 £3.00 something? Yeah. I need it to be £3.00 does it have to specifically be bacon or can it just be like any other like it needs to be the bacon egg so it's CH41 because if you go to oh. see, if you go to like um, you know, Townfield and Prince which is like just like just like a little bit soap of bacon egg there's a pub called the World 100, and on, I think they still do this to this day. They'll give you the Foster's, which is their cheapest drink. The first pint is £3.20, and then yeah. the next one, and then every other one I've got is like £2.40, something like that. Okay, once you pay for that, £3.20. Yeah. One, five, one, three. Five, five, one, three. Right, to my side. To your side. To your side. Yeah, yeah. Bottoms up. Right, big smile, Gav. And so, I'm in the hall, boys. It's just seems to be a good guy, it's no way. He's the only people here on the Friday nights. He's having a hard heart. That's all that's going on. They're all. The logo guys. The most comfortable felt. Let me get this. By the way, this is 4 4. Someone bought me this. His name's Gavin. He knew my brother. So I've still got four pounds left to left. So because of him, I'm probably going to complete this challenge. So I was quite lucky. I was quite lucky. This is the fifth pub coming up close that I've been to. And I've got my last place coming next, which is, might be the local Waterloo. But I'm not sure. But I've got four pounds seventy to play with. Again, it's a it's a Guinness. The Guinness is worth their design. I am confident I will complete my challenge. So yeah, I can go on the pub crawl. My challenge completed, I can go on the pub crawl and be an head for £20. Pounds. I've got £4.70. I've been to five different bars. And I've got £4.70 left. Albeit, I was quite lucky to get someone to buy drink for me, but that's just the way it is in this situation. And top of the challenge, he didn't know I was doing this challenge. He got me a shot as well. That's like an extra two pound fifty. So happy days. So I've just come out the home blows. This place here. So. Believe it or not, I've actually, someone in there I knew, and they brought me a pint. I've been to five different pubs, so I've got my last place. I've been drinking Guinness. I thought, he also brought me a shot as well, so fair play to him. 
his name's Gavin. Brought me a shot. He knew my brother. He used to work with my brother. Brought me a shot. Brought me a drink. So, it makes my life a lot easier. I just need to go to this last place now. Last pub. I'll show you. No. And card on me. Let's get my last drink in my last bar. It's represents a pub crawl in Birkenhead. Now, obviously, not everyone's going to get... I got quite lucky. Um, I say I got lucky, but I did... I did in one, one of the places. It did say it was £3.50 for guineas and I paid £4. So, is that lucky? No. That's... I got lied to. But... It's worked out for me in the end. I went to the Horn Blowers, which is that place down there, and I got, I did get, I got a free drink and it's free shots, Sambuca. Right, so, what I'm gonna, right, so what I'm looking for now, is I'm going the wrong way. I'm gonna go to the Waterloo. Hey, the world's my oyster. I've got four pounds seven, so you wanna get a Guinness, and, being in Baconhead, £4.70 should be enough to get against wherever I go. So, there's no, like, I can go anywhere, really. So, and this is going to be my last place. My last place to go to. To get a Guinness. And I have been on the Guinness all night. I've had five Guinnesses, five pints of Guinnesses, five different pubs. I've come out with £20. £4.70. So yeah, so there's a couple, there's a couple places I can go to. There's the Gallagher's, which is a bit more expensive, and I think there's a place next door. But the world's my oyster. My challenge was twenty pound to go out on the pub crawl. Five to six different pubs, I said online. And now uh, this will be my sixth pub. So that's it. That's that challenge completed. It's, it's a bit difficult to record inside these places in Birkenhead because they are a bit shifty and I don't want people to start questioning things but I will go to my last place we'll go to my last place which is one of these two pubs I'm just going past Brandon Street with a, a traditional a traditional post box now I feel like I'm in Liverpool, but that's happens to square down there. So, nice view here as well. Nice view. So we got the Gallagher's. Birkenhead drill, women and children first. So there's a lot of a tradition with this, with the tattoo, with the paintings on this wall here. There's a lot of history to it. So. Okay, so I am sorry, like I have not been able to record much inside of these pubs that I have been to. But with this being the last one, I am going to try. I will try. So you got the balance there. And then you got the... The woods, Riverside, Riverview. River view. So I'm gonna go in there. Four pound thirty. And that's twenty pounds, six cups. Did I did complete my quest. I've only spent nineteen pounds. Now you will see that in the video, I've been six cups. So that's my final Guinness in the Riverside pub. I will have another video, the next video, again, my forfeit. You might have seen my previous Irish videos, my forfeit will be, I have to down for five pints for three minutes. That won't happen until I do fail the video. But I have, I have ended in the place. Riverside view pub.